The human skull has held a morbid fascination for mankind since the dawn of time. And today, I'm going to raise one out of silicone bronze. Hang on. So here's my plan. I buried this skull here in this bowl of sand um, to create the aspect that I'm looking for. So rather than do a face front on or a profile, I'm doing slightly canted three quarter sort of look here. I'll just rotate. And I think this will create a pretty interesting effect. So burying it in sand has defined the boundaries for me and gives me something to work with for a model. Uh, so let's begin. So I've got my sheet of silicone bronze here, about 18 gauge, or the, the equivalent of that. And we're going to start by hot raising a bulge here to get this depth, because I'm going for uh, full 3D here, so a lot of depth required. Let's begin. I just went over to my stump and with the rounded uh, doming hammer, I just kind of started a little bulge there. Uh, that just gives me a starting point and now I'm going to be getting my ball stake and raising that, get this piece in the forge and heat it up. So my process basically is that I heat up the piece, get some color on it. I don't want to get it too hot or it can melt or burn, disintegrate, whatever you want to call it. And now what I'm doing is hammering just beyond the ball and I'm just kind of nudging the bronze forward and slowly, incrementally, you're able to move it down in the direction you want. And by doing this process, as opposed to dishing from the inside, you're able to get a lot more depth. Okay, so I've done my first pass here, and now what I want to do is follow me. Okay, so here is what I'm doing, and here's my rough blob that kind of approximates that shape. What I have done is taken a piece of cardboard and basically cut out the perimeter just to give me um, a much more accurate and quick way to get my bulge here to correspond with the scale of that. Just want to dry it off for a sec. I love Sharpie, but it does not like water. Okay, so now, I simply trace this perimeter. And this gives me something to work with now. So we'll go back to the anvil and I will shrink down this bulge to kind of correspond to that perimeter. So I just grabbed this stake here, which is just a, a radius round stake, um, and I'm just going to kind of cave in around that perimeter there. Smash! When I was prepping for this video, I got to thinking, and I remembered back, way back when I was a teenager, about I think 15 or 16, a high school art project, I made a skull, or actually a skeleton, and you can see here it is. This is a plaster casting, um, and this was the first realistic skull I ever sculpted, and as soon as I did that, I was like, that's my thing, I like doing skulls. So, kind of funny, 35 years later, here I am, and we're making a skull, um, and then I decided to do a fairly similar profile. This is a profile one here. What I'm doing is more of a three-quarter, but I just think uh, it's kind of funny how I've come full circle after all this time, and I'm making this skull. Ironically, I'm still dressed exactly the same way as I did when I was 15 or 16. I'm like, I, I look like a goddamn teenager. I'm a grandfather, for Christ's sakes. Uh, so, 
Anyway, I'm having a good time and I still like making skulls, so let's get back into it. We've got basically the rough uh, landmarks roughed out here. I've got my uh, appropriate depth for the highest parts there and I've started sinking in where pieces are going to go. So that up to this point, we've spent about an hour. This is the easy part. Now things are going to get progressively harder and time will stretch out longer and longer. Uh, so there we go. Two and a half hours into the process, uh, we got it roughed out pretty good here. Uh, I need to anneal it one more time and then I think I will do one more pass trying to get all my highs and lows after that. Then I'm actually going to put go to the pitch, fill this with pitch and go get into some hardcore repose. So um, we are somewhere down the path. We're not even halfway done on this thing yet, but it's looking pretty good so far. All right, so I did another pass over here and believe it or not, I've actually got everything where it needs to be now. I can go in, uh, I'm gonna fill it with a pitch and actually start sinking in the real detail there. Um, I just had to get things that they were all in the proper planes. That's more important than the actual detail. So everything looks pretty blurry at this point in time, but it's gonna start sharpening up. So uh, let's go over to the forge and start melting some pitch. All right, so I just got this set on the forge and uh, I've got the heat basically down to nothing and I'm just melting in chunks of pitch. I need... Oh. I'm also eating a hamburger by the... hamburger patty by the way, so don't be confused, I'm not eating pitch, I don't recommend it. All right, so now we've got the pitch pretty much melted into place there. I'm gonna remove that from the heat for about 15 minutes and then we will put it onto our pitch board and get that clamped in place and start working. All right, so I've just warmed up my pitch tray here. Now I'm gonna grab the piece, which is semi-molten at this point. And now I'm just going to flip it into place there and clamp it on. And let's see how this works. All right, so I've gotten to the point now where things have work hardened and I'm going to pull it off take the pitch out and I also need to push up. There's a bunch of cave-ins that I need to push out and then I'll re the thing, get it back in place here and continue on. So I took the pitch out from behind and re the thing and then I was punching out from the inside with various chisels and punches, bring up the brows, all the places that needed to come forward. So now I've got everything forward again, so I'm gonna re-pitch and then um, get back onto there and I should be able to sharpen up the detail. I think we're starting to home in on the finished shape, but maybe I'm speaking out of turn here. So anyway, let's get back to pitch. Okay, I think I'm going to pull it off one last time, do one last anneal, um, push out a couple of the cave-ins once again, and then go back, re-pitch, and go for the final pass. I'm getting pretty close here, and I think I'm, uh, I'm just gonna be able to get, uh, you know, 
one more shot at it and that should be sufficient. So here we go. All right, so I think I've reached the point now where it's pretty good. I could spend infinite number of hours continuing on, um, but I basically got most of the pieces nailed down and I think I'm just gonna call this one as the day is drawing to a close here. So I'm just gonna pull this thing off, uh, melt out the pitch, and then we'll do a quick finish on it and see if we can get a nice beauty shot of our finished product. All right, so now I'm gonna take some gun blue here and just paint this thing down. Get a nice liberal coat upon it. All right, now I will neutralize the acid and water. And while it's still wet, I will come in with steel wool and just pull out the highlights. Voila! So there we have it. I have stopped working on this. I could work on it more, but I think it came out pretty good. I'm reasonably happy with it. I can see some distortions and stuff, but I think I got a pretty cool level of detail on this. Uh, this was a pretty advanced repose, and I think I might do a future video of a skull, a much simpler uh, beginner style skull, so I'll do that um, in the near future. So please, if you have not subscribed, subscribe, leave your comments below, and look forward to future videos. We've got all kinds of crazy stuff coming up, so that's it for now. I will see you in the future. Thank you. See ya!